I have many videos on exercise to help you achieve perfect posture, and I encourage you to watch them all. However, this video is a bit different. I'm gonna show you how to breathe properly, the perfect technique, and the perfect exercise to help your breathing help you achieve better or more perfect posture. Follow along with me now. Breathing with a proper technique can help calm your nervous system by activating the parasympathetic nervous system. This is the rest and relax state. When you breathe deeply, slowly, and properly, you signal the parasympathetic nervous system to calm the body down. This can reduce stress, anxiety, it can lower your pain levels, it improves your vagus tone, and it's definitely gonna help fix your posture. Normal breathing or diaphragmatic or relaxed breathing is the normal state in terms of how we breathe. In normal relaxed breathing, the diaphragm is the primary muscle used. When the diaphragm contracts, it moves downward to draw air into the lungs, while the chest and shoulders should stay mostly still. The main muscles used, the diaphragm itself, and the intercostal muscles between the ribs to help the rib cage expand. This type of breathing is efficient, it promotes full oxygen exchange and is calming to the body, and is super important for good posture. The diaphragm muscle and posture have a symbiotic relationship, so good posture always helps the diaphragm function properly while allowing for more efficient breathing. Often neglected in good posture or posture correction is your breathing technique. This video is gonna address that. Stressed breathing is the opposite of what we just discussed. Now, when stressed breathing becomes shallow, it relies more on the chest and upper shoulder and the neck muscles to do the work versus the diaphragm in a relaxed state. The muscles involved when you're stressed while breathing, we've all done it, we've all been stressed out and hunched and we've started to breathe shallow, our accessory muscles like our sternocleidomastoid or our scalenes, even our pec minor start to do the work. This type of breathing causes neck pain, headaches, it causes shallow, it causes weakness, fatigue because we can't exchange oxygen well, and it's stressful for the nervous system. Stressful breathing is less efficient, often leading to tension in the neck shoulders, reduced oxygen delivery, and it's contributing to your bad posture. I'm gonna show you the single best exercise you can do to help restore proper breathing that's gonna help you achieve perfect posture. But before I do that, let's do a couple of tests. Stand up with me. I want you to just breathe normal, and then what I want you to do is I want you to take your head and shove it forward. And I want you to try to take a deep breath. And I want you to pull your head back over neutral, and then take a deep breath. I know you're gonna notice there's restriction when your head's forward. This is a simple way for you to feel what poor posture and breathing feels like. Now, another thing I want you to do is I want you to extend your rib cage because you want to, sometimes people just want to stand up straight and hope that this corrects their posture. But again, just stand normal, relax, get your rib cage and your pelvis in neutral position and just breathe slowly. Deep breath in, hold for a few seconds and out. And then I want you to try to exaggerate your posture, extend your rib cage and then take a deep breath in you're gonna feel one of two things. It's gonna be very shallow. You're not gonna be able to expand your rib cage, or you're gonna feel it really up high in the upper part of your chest or lungs. Again, it's a secondary type of breathing. It's a stressful breathing when you're either overextended or hunched forward. So the question is, what do you do? I'm gonna walk through the setup for this exercise. I want you to do it with me because you're gonna learn a lot in terms of how you should feel when you're doing it, and it's gonna to start to improve your breathing, which is gonna improve your posture. Let's get to it. Okay, I want you to get on the floor with me. You get a mat or just a carpet. I want you to walk through this with me because it's, as, it's simple, but there's some steps involved. And I think that if you lie down, follow along, you're gonna get way more of this exercise. So we're just gonna lie down. Our feet are gonna be planted. We're gonna lie down nice and calm. The first thing I want you to do, I wanna walk through you just visualizing your posture, straight, normal, and Try to pull out any postural distortion. So the first thing I want you to do is focus on your leg lengths. And if you feel like your leg lengths are off, what you want to do is grab your pelvis and just make sure the distance between your rib, bottom ribs, and your pelvis is equal. Some of you might be like this, or some of you might have a high height pelvis on the right side. You want to lower that and just really visualize getting your pelvis and your rib cage in neutral. So that's one of the first things I want you to do. The second thing I want to do is really look at yourself and understand if you have a right or high left shoulder, you want to straighten those out as well. If you've got a head tilt or forward head, get your head back in a relaxed position. Get your forward head relaxed, just calm and relax to try to really visualize. And you can, if you want, just to kind of stretch first to get yourself reset and then bring your arms to your side and just visualize your spine lengthening and that you're in really good posture. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our legs up. 
where our feet are planted. And we wanna put a little bit of pressure through our feet or heels. Then we wanna take our pelvis and pull it into a little bit of posterior pelvic tilt. So most people are gonna be like this or an anterior pelvic tilt. Just bring it a little bit into posterior pelvic tilt. Again, making sure the distance between the top of your hip and your lower ribs are equal on both sides. Then what you wanna do is you wanna place one hand on your stomach and one on your chest. You've probably heard the difference between belly breathing and chest breathing. Well, this is that. This is the difference between relaxed breathing and stressful breathing. So the first thing we wanna do is we really wanna focus on moving our diaphragm and focusing on activating our diaphragm and how we're gonna do that. When we take a nice deep breath in, through our nose, the first two thirds approximately of our breath should fill our belly or be re resulting from our diaphragm pulling down. So we're gonna breathe in through our nose. Your belly or stomach should expand. You should visualize your rib cage almost like there's a belt around it and you're trying to expand the belt equally. Really pay attention if one side of your ribs is expanding more than the other, really focus on expanding the first two thirds of that inhale. Expand these ribs equally. It should be all in the tummy, your tummy should raise. And then the very last third or so should be the upper part of your lungs to fill your lungs with the rest or the full breath of oxygen. So let's do this without me talking. You're gonna hold for four to five seconds and I want you to exhale through your mouth. Remember, slight activation of your hamstrings, slight posterior pelvic tilt, not relaxed. Really focus when you're exhaling to push the air out with your core and your abs. Again, first two thirds. Last third, hold for four to five. Take three to five seconds to blow your air out. Very important with this exercise is that you're really trying to get your diaphragm to do most of the work. When your diaphragm is doing most of the work, it means that you're in a relaxed state and it's really supporting your spine and your core stability when you're breathing like this to help support good posture. If your posture is shifted again, recheck your hip heights. Might actually have come up on the right a bit really maybe start to elongate your spine again, maybe between some of these reps. Head's neutral, head's not rotated to one side. Again, bring your legs up, equal. Fire your hamstrings, post your pelvic tilt. Deep breath in, the first two thirds with your belly, the final third with your upper chest or rib cage. Focus on expanding the rib cage like expanding a belt equally and out. In through your nose. Fire this as you blow out. You want to perform this breathing technique for about 15 to 30 reps. It's a perfect time to do it either before or after some of the other posture videos you've seen on my channel to help support your posture configuration by supporting the better breathing technique. I hope you learned something there. I hope you liked this video. If you did, show some support by giving a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you like content I'm putting out, maybe you'll consider subscribing so you can be informed when I upload a new video. If you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, breathe well.